Hello everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. As you can see, I've been extremely busy here and having a lot of fun. When uh, There is so much going on here, but I absolutely love this card. Now, I am an affiliate for scrapbook.com, uh, Amazon, Spellbinders, and Gina K Designs. Link to any of the products that I've used in this video are below and you can click on them. It's at no cost to you. I do make a little commission for being an affiliate. So thank you so much for ordering from me. I've been having a lot of fun in this craft room making this Mother's Day card. So um, a while back I had ordered this from Pink Fresh Studio. It's an absolutely beautiful set. It's called Daisy Wreath and I'm going to show you, we're going to um, do a little embossing there on vellum. Doesn't that vellum soften that up a little bit? I've been using this embossing folder constantly. I find that um, it goes with everything. When I first made this card I had to walk away from it for a minute because this was flat. The um, Innocent Pink, this is Gina K. Innocent Pink, and um, so I was like, I had to walk away from it because I was like, what do I do? Do I stamp? Then I, I thought, no, stamping is going to take away from this gorgeousness here because that's nothing but gorgeous. We're going to foil in just a minute. And um, yeah, so this is what I've been doing. Oh, and here's the inside. I'm going to show you how to make this soft flower. I absolutely love Gina K. inks. We're going to use the carnation uh, medium and dark and a little medium spruce. And and um, let's go ahead and move this card aside. And now um, this set comes with, there is a stencil, there is a hot foil plate, and there's a die. If you use the hot foil plate, you don't necessarily have to use stencil 5. I'm not going to use stencil 5. I'm just going to let the foil um, have the gold going around it without any ink around that area okay so um yeah but you can use this you can okay so but i'm not going to for this card okay so let's put that away all right now <clears throat> um let's go over really quick here's my envelope we'll do a little stenciling on that let's go over some measurements the base is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter i use nina white cardstock I'm using Gina K's um, Innocent Pink. The outside piece is five and a quarter by four. And my inside piece is four and three quarter by three and a half. And then a piece of Nina White cardstock at four and a half by three and a quarter, making just a smaller um, layer in there. Isn't that pretty? And we're going to do a pretty little stencil right there. Okay, so there's that. Now we have to cut some foil. Let me get my little foil cutter here. This is called a, um, oh my goodness, a quick trim. <laughs> I lost it in my head. I, I had it right on the tip of my tongue. I was going to say it, and I, it just went away. But it came right back, so that's good, right? <laughs> okay, so let's unroll this, okay? I'm going to take my hot foil plate, and it's a little big that way, so we're going to go this way. Or, I'm sorry, it's a little short. The foil short that way, okay? So I'm going to go this way. And it's uneven here. I'm mad at myself. I cut it with the scissors. I was, like, in a hurry. I was like, oh, let me try such and such. And I just cut me off a piece. And so then I don't have a good... straight edge right here, right? Just like that. And there goes my foil on the floor. Okay, let me take this off of here. And we're just going to turn it like that. You've seen me use this before. I love this tool. I've seen a lot of people just use a trimmer or use um, scissors also, which is, you know, more than fine. I, For me, I like this. I like the cuts that I get with it. It helps me even to say foil. Now, see this around here? I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's not going on the front of the card. I'm going to cut this out with the die, so I don't have to worry if I overfoil a little bit on this, okay? Now, a lot of things that I've been doing, let's put this away. Remember, I always tell you, put this away. It's a weapon, that blade in there. Wow. Um, so, I've been doing a lot of foiling here lately. Um, with uh, using the hinge technique, using a hinge technique. This one, this today, we don't need to do that because, like I say, 
we're going to cut this out with a die. Okay, so here I have my Glimmer uh, Spellbinders Glimmer machine. This is a hot foil machine. Everything's linked below. And when you do hot foiling, it's almost like you've got to think backwards. Um, so you think pretty side to pretty side, okay? So the pretty side here, okay, so I don't call that the pretty side. I call this the pretty side. Pretty side up to me, okay? Pretty side of the foil down toward the project, okay? Pretty to pretty, all right? Pretty to pretty, just like that. I love hammer mill cardstock for my foiling. This is cut at about four inches. I'm going to place this right on top. Now, um, these two shims come with it. Use your um, greenish uh, one first because there is a heat pr protector in it, and then your clear, and push your timer button. And right there. And I'm going to bring in, look, I've got all my ink. I'm ready to go, right? I am ready to stencil. Um, <laughs> I've got all of my things over here. Let me bring it in. And here's the Platinum 6. And I'm trying to get into camera and still have enough room here. Will I hit that? No. I'm still blinking, so we're not ready yet. And um, what else? Oh, yes. Uh, for my sentiment, I'm using one that I had purchased a long time ago at the beginning of the year. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's just a bow bunny one, and it had the Happy Mother's Day in it. I purchased this because it had happy everything. Happy everything. So uh, it really helped me with my sentiment. So that's where I'm getting my sentiment from. And I'm going to take this off of the machine, undock that, and we're going to go right through here. Ooh, that did wiggle a little bit. I hope we're okay. Okay, now we roll slow. When you glimmer, roll slow. And then I'm going to bring it back. Every machine is different, okay? Um, so you have to learn your machine, you know on what to, oh my goodness, wait, here we go, ready, here's the reveal. You're going to learn your machine on what kind of pressure you need on it, shims and this and that with machines that you have. Let's take a, are you watching? As I'm peeling that back, oh my goodness, 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 it's perfect and there isn't even any overfoiling. It's absolutely perfect. That has to do a lot with the paper, guys. It is hammer mill cardstock. You can get it on Amazon. I have a link below for it, but it really does a fantastic job. It has to be smooth. It must must be smooth. Now you can foil on cardstock that has color to it, um, and um, even if it's got a little grainy to it, it's okay. You can still foil on it. Might not look as smooth the foiling, but um, but you can foil on it. I'm taking that off, and now I want to show you. See this negative? Normally, a long time ago, from what I understand, when, when they foiling first came out, um, uh, you, everybody threw this away. Then they came out with this. This is a so solid hot foil plate. If you purchase this system, or any part of this system, if you purchase hot foil, get the so solid plate, because I'm going to show you what it does. So the solid plate, pretty to pretty, the pretty is indented right here. And I know a lot of you have heard me go through this a lot, um, but if I have some new people on here, I uh, went and looked at my analytics, and I have new subscribers, so I don't know if they are seasoned foilers or not, so I thought that I would just, you know, in this video, just kind of go through things. Um, okay, so I'm ready here. I'm pushing my timer light. This is a pretty to pretty, okay, pretty to pretty. Put this down. All right. I have another piece of hammer mill right here that's four inches. I'm going to come right on top of this. Let me give you a little hint too. Okay. When you place your cardstock, in my head, I want to place it down toward me, right? Because, you know, I, I mean, it it looks like you should put it at the top down. No, let it go out the top of this because you need this to pull this back. Don't let that paper get in the way because you'll jar it. Okay, I see a little foil, foil sticking out. I just want to make sure that I have that on there. Good. Okay, plates. So anyway, 
Yes, yeah, see how now I can grab that, okay? Another little tip. All right, let me get the platinum six. Make sure that won't hit that. Isn't this just gorgeous? Now, you can cut this out, die cut it, and just leave it. It is absolutely beautiful white, but we're going to add some color to it. It, it would, you know, honestly, um, and I hate making those cards, sympathy cards, but that would look beautiful with, uh, like, just with sympathy or thinking of you on it. You know, something like that. Now, every time that I use a solid hot foil plate, I definitely run it through twice. Okay? And then sometimes, I think we're okay. It feels good. Sometimes, if you get under foiling, you need to run it through again with a shim. Um, let's see how we did. Okay? So, let's look really quick here. I know I think we're good. See, there is no underfoiling on that at all. Uh, if it was underfoiled, it would look like modeled, almost like somebody um, erased some of it. So now there's always a film, okay? Pick this off. Now look, guys, you've wasted no foil. None. And now we have two gorgeous pieces to cut out. Okay, let me move this aside. Let me move this over. Put the plates back here, and let me bring in my mat here. There we go. Good, good. Put all of that together back here. And let's see, we foiled enough? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's undo this machine, and let's keep going together. Okay. We'll bring the platinum back in. And let's go ahead, let's go ahead and emboss, since I'm ready for that here. So here, um, I'm still getting used to this machine too, because this is new to me. A platform base, the embossing folder with the um, paper, and then D adapter plate. D adapter plate, got that right here. And again, <clears throat> my pink is five and a quarter by four. I'm going to flip this right in here. And you know what I noticed? And I don't know. But do you see that this is open here? Do you see that? So I'm putting my open end because of my picture that way. And now I'm going to go with my D adapter plate. And notice that this plate has like a little, um, it's like a little ramp right there. So it helps to feed, okay? So just like that, it'll catch. And away we go. Beautiful. Let's see what we get here. I am really enjoying. Now this came with this machine. There's all kinds of specials like with this. You could get this with the Glimmer machine. There's a whole package. You know, there's like some. There's different things. This came with this embossing folder and some dies. And that's the one that I chose. So, you know, there's a lot of... Um, if you're looking, if you're looking for a machine, there's a lot of things to choose. Okay, let me get myself back together here. Okay, and let's go ahead and do a little die cutting. I'm going to use my magic mat. I love my magic mat. Right there, you replace a clear with the magic. Okay, so I have my uh, play A and B, and then a magic mat. Uh, saying that that's a clear plate. Okay, now I'm going to put this project in here, this gold one. Let me get my die. Okay, and isn't that beautiful? Is that not just absolutely gorgeous? Let's see, I really think it goes this way. I like the bigger spray there. Let's do that. I just cut it this way. It doesn't matter how you cut it. I just think that well, actually, on that card, I put the one on the top. I put this one on the top. Maybe on the card we do, I'll put the other on the top. Then it'll be just a little bit different. Now, watch here. We just cut this out. Now, the other thing is, um, <clears throat> when you put tape down on foil, do not put tape where your good foil is, okay? Like out here, this is not, you know, 
uh, foil that we need to keep but I'm going to show you something too. You know how we love to cut out little hearts? I save these let's see I will whoops I will save I will save these two triangles right here okay nope that's still not right because sometimes I like to cut out little gold flowers little gold hearts I'll save this inside there's enough in there already gold paper why throw it away right Okay, now I'm going to cut, and I'm going to bring it back, and let's see what we get. The thing about the magic mat is that now I have no warping. See, I can get a couple of little gold hearts out of that. I think that's so cute, right? You know, we're crafters. We're not going to throw it away. Now, see, we are tearing paper here. That's why a lot of times I switch to the blue uh, tape, the mint because it doesn't, but now it doesn't matter here, it really doesn't. But like if that was a card, I would have just then been like totally upset because of the tape. It's going to rip this too. Yep, yeah, see? A little bit. So that's why I switch, oh, look at that, to the mint tape. But like I say, for something like this, it doesn't matter. And there's plenty of times when I need this kind of stickiness. So it's not that you can switch your whole thing to, um, to mint okay tape you have to have now this is hammer mill so I'll save that I'll cut this out and then I'll just snip that right there and I'll throw this part away actually I could probably get a little leaf or something out of that so there we go <clears throat> and then that just goes in a little bag and that's good and when I need little parts that's what I what I take out okay now here we go here's the white one and then we'll, oh, you know what? We're not going to cut this out first. We are going to stencil first. So let's do that. All right, let me back this out of here. Okay. And now I'm just going to take this and we're going to do a little stenciling. You can cut it out and stencil, okay? It's just that it's easier to tape down something this size, and I am going to use blue tape, mint tape on this, okay? And then use our stencils on top of this. It's just easier that way, okay? Now, all these stencils are layered. Here's one. I've got them out of sync. Two, two, three, four, okay? Remember, I said I'm not going to, for this one, I'm not going to use five because I have all of my gold going on there, all right? So now I'm going to line this up. Let me make sure. Stencil one. Now I have the big... Oh. It is the, the... You know what? It is the truth. The top is the single because that's where the number is on the stencil. But I don't think it matters how you put it on your paper. I am going to flip that around just so that I see my numbers on top. It'll just be easier for me to line up. So now when you do stenciling, just line these guys up okay come over your gold move things around take your time or you watch, watch you know it's to where like all, all of a sudden you see it come right there it is you see every bit of the gold outlining okay and no matter how wonky it was to begin with it winds up finding its little place here okay now I've got some yellow tape and I don't care because I'm gonna tape it on the outside here Good, just like that. I'm going to use my medium spruce. And let me bring in my paper here. And I'll bring in just this little blending brush. And I'm really not even going to tap off because it's okay. Let's add color. Let's add some pretty, pretty, pretty color. And this medium spruce is beautiful. Uh, this and the carnation comes uh, from Gina K in a cube, you know, in the cubes, but it's a trio of color. So it's like a light, medium, and dark carnation, light, medium, and dark spruce. And I say this all the time, every time I use her ink, I love it. There's, uh, from what I understand, because I'm, I'm learning all about this, uh, there is a compound in here or some type of an agent in here to allow it to kind of blend like soften or however whatever it does but whatever it does is gorgeous 
I love it. I absolutely love it. I love her ink. So there's that. Isn't that pretty? Just to even leave that like that with just the green and the white is beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, now I've got stencil two. And now what I'm doing really is lining up my circles here in these two flowers. Okay, and then I'm kind of wiggling stuff around just a little bit right there. Love it. And um, until I see all my gold right where I want it. Okay, perfect. I'm going to take that other piece and put it right here. Okay, now I'm going to go into the um, light or medium, medium carnation. And let's see, I believe I have a dark on there. Yeah. Here's a medium. That's what I love about these. You know, they're Velcro, so you just change them out. Now, I'm, uh, yeah, I think I will tap off just a little bit because this is a light. Not the light. This is a medium. Oh, I didn't even tap off. Oh, it doesn't matter. For, not for this. Sometimes, you know, you can get a blob. But here we want to lay color down. And look, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now also, while we have this stencil out, look how pretty. Oh, I love pink and green. Mm. How funny. That's my phone. Forgot to put it on silent. Okay, so there's that. Okay, now, let me pick this up. And... Let's bring in, this is the inside of the card, okay? Am I in camera? Yes. Right here, I want to just use this flower, okay? Now, there's no, we don't have to do anything spectacular here. I am going to show you how to offset, though, with this stencil, which I thought was really cool. I tried it, and I was like, I don't know if it's going to work, but it did. You know, because I am new at this too myself. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Okay. And um, uh, we've got the medium right here. So I'm going to just bring that in to my flower. Right there. Okay, nice. Pick that up. I'm going to move this. I still go slowly, even though it's the mint, right? I'm going to bring my envelope in now. Okay. Get my flap. And I'm just going to take my flower. And I'm just going to add a little ink. Nice. While we're working with this stencil, easy peasy on that, okay? Might as well get done what we need to get done, right? I'm going to take these off. Okay, let's put this right here. All right. So now, we're actually working with three parts. Uh, three parts of the card, okay? All right, now we're done with this. Now let's go to stencil three, okay? We're not going to use that on this or the inside of the card. So let's come back over here and let's go to our dark carnation. Um, let's see, that's dark, that's dark and yellow. I don't think I have to do any more light. So I don't have to change this out because I'm not going, like I'm going to a darker color in the same family, so I don't have to change it out. I did for when I was designing because I wasn't sure what I was doing or how it was going to end up. Now watch, see, I'm looking for that gold to shine through. And I see it right here. See? Isn't that pretty? Bring that one that way. See what's going on down here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. There we go. <clears throat> All right, now we have the dark. And now we're really going to come in with this color and really add it in there. 
I appreciate all the demonstrators, all the people that present all of these techniques. I really do. I have learned so much. And I hope you guys are learning from me learning. But yeah, I was looking at my um, my subscribers and I uh, they finally came back up uh, from where I had transitioned from, you know, stamping up um, into doing this. Um, so I finally started to get some new subscribers and I thought, boy, I wonder if they're seasoned at this or if they're new, you know. So I thought I'd do this video, you know, pretty entailed. So here we go. <gasps> it's gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Now we have this ink open. We're going to bring the envelope back in. Okay. We're going to get number two. Okay. And use that same flower. Line it up so that it's perfect. Turn it clockwise. Just a little bit, okay? But keep that center in the center. That's what's going to give you more uh, more petals, okay? Now we're going to take the dark. I'm just holding it. And now we have like a two-tone little daisy. Isn't that cute? Let's do this side. Right here. So line it up, okay, exactly. Turn it clockwise just a little bit so that it's kind of like halfway in between all the other little petals and bring some ink in. Each time you do it, it'll look a little bit different. Isn't that pretty? How nice. All right, now let's go ahead and get the inside of the card, okay? So again, line it up exactly. Turn it to where it's halfway in between the petals. Keep the center in the center. And add your ink. Absolutely. Ha! Just a little fun, right? Okay, now let's get our um, yellow going here. And I wanted a yellow that is bright, like a sunshine yellow. This one I didn't use. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and get these guys. And we'll bring it over to our project. And let's line this up right here. I thought I'd really have to stop a whole lot with this video, but I haven't had to. So I'm really happy. I'm just kind of holding this. And just adding that yellow and really add it let it shine like the Sun there we go the greatest thing about foiling is that the ink the the foil resists the ink so it shines through now I'm gonna get this guy over here just like that and we will go ahead and glue that in in just a second. And now let's get our envelope. And look, the inside of our card and our envelopes are completed. Or envelope is completed. There's that one. And then right here. Beautiful. Ah, fun. Okay, great. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, let's pick this up. I'm going to pull that off. And that paper did not rip. Let's go ahead and... Um, oh, you know what we didn't do, too? Yeah, we have to emboss yet, right? We have, we've got ways to go yet. So hang in there. Not a ways, but we're... More than a way. We're, we're in good shape. <laughs> we're in good shape. Here we go. So let's get the inside of the card. Okay. 
So we have the envelope, the inside of the card, and most of the outside done. And I want to show you the cards that I'm going to make with the negative before we even put this together. Okay, so watch this. Remember the negative we made with the solid hot foil plate? This is going to get glued down. A lot more glue because of all the embossing. Scooch that over a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> now, you don't you would not have to do a thing, just add that. That's it. And when what we're gonna do in the center which involves a um, piece of vellum. So I just cut this circle out. It's, I think it's about two inches. Uh, it was two and a half. Yeah, about two and a half, almost two and three quarter inches at the widest part, okay? But I just found a circle um, die that fit back here that I had, okay? So that's what you want to do. You want to find a circle, or you could cut it, you know, that fits back there, okay? And look at how gorgeous that is. Isn't that beautiful? Else too, if you don't have vellum, okay, and you want to make this card. Okay. When you cut this out, okay, the center is like a puzzle piece. You can do exactly what I'm doing, okay, by putting your puzzle piece in here. Whoops, <laughs> I think I turned it. Um, putting your little, y'all, okay, here. <laughs> putting your puzzle piece in there and stamping instead of using vellum like what I'm going to do. Okay, so you could do it like this, but now watch, because see, you have to kind of line this up, and this is where, um, this is scary. <laughs> this is scary. So, here we go. Alright, I, I have my circle. Now I'm going to place this right over top. Okay. I need my happy with my Versamark. Okay. Need my happy. And see, I want it right up in there. But I love this that it has grid because it's going to help me to line this up. Okay. Right there happy and it's on that vellum just like that okay all right now I'm going to remove this I'm going to get my golden okay let's do that again a little powder here okay not to get the smudges or anything any specks which that's what I had okay so there we go um, let's go ahead and line up again right here. Just line it up. Take the happy or whatever your sentiment is and I want this to come up into this area. Good. Okay. Get our embossing powder on there. Good. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, now a heat tool, heating gun. Oh. You got to know, in my house, it's me, and you know that would be blowing all over the place, right? So I let this heat up. And then as soon as it gets shiny, okay, I pull it away because vellum will curl and it's okay if it curls but just as soon as it melts and you'll see it can you see it doing its thing just there we go really quick it does it and then hit it from the back just to flatten it back out and it's all gold there we go okay now let's put this back on here 
Okay. Oh, look how pretty that is, right? So now let's see how are we going to turn. Do I need to turn that that way? I think so. Okay, I like it like that. All right. Now again, Mother's Day. Right here. Good. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay. Get our gold again. These are ice cream scoops, and these are pencil boxes. You get them on Amazon. Oop. And these are command hooks. This way when it gets yucky and falls off because it's taped on there. Although this one has been on there, too. I bet it's been on there five years if it's been on there a day. I don't even remember. I might have had to replace that one. I might have. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, so it, they keep pretty good. I think actually very well. Okay, so here we go again. And remember, soon as this is hot now, so as soon as it gets shiny, get off of it because that vellum will curl. Sometimes I just kind of pass it over. Really easy. There we go. We are all shiny. That's it. Easy peasy. Any heat tool will do. Now, with this, um, I want to line it up. Because I really want this to be like look really really nice, right? So I really want to get that lined up. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Ooh, I think I did okay with that. Maybe Mother's Day could have come up and over just a little bit, but I, let's not be too critical, right? So I really love that. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to take my blue tape, and I'm just going to. No, I'm not going to take my blue tape because of the of the foiling. I'm not. I'm going to flip this over now. Okay, just like that. Yes. Okay, now I need a glue dot here, here, and here. All right. Remove it. And I found that glue dots were the best to use, just three, uh, at this first part. Because then we're going to put some dimension to it. You know, when you do you foil and you do all of this stuff, you know, it takes a little time to get your card completed, but um, it's a lot of fun in the craft room. It, I've spent the afternoon designing this beautiful card and creating and, you know, just having fun with it. And then right here, okay? So I wasn't sure where my glue dots were going, so there's that. Don't ever put ever 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 put um, tape on foil it will lift it and I wouldn't even do it with the mint tape I would not take the chance okay now we're gonna place this kind of where we had it I like it just like that see now the glue dots pick it up and now we have one piece okay so no big deal just took uh, just a little bit of time now when we put the when you put your foam Secure down your um, piece of vellum in the back, okay? Just secure it down a little bit with some foam, like right here, okay? And um, you're good to go. And then put it wherever else it needs it. I appreciate you guys hanging on here with me and watching me create this beautiful card. A lot of fun. Just make sure that you can't see it, okay? So you want to stay behind the white, right? We can't see it. Not one bit. Ah, that's so nice. Let's bring our card in. Let's bring our beautiful envelope in. Look at us go. Easy peasy. And that's why, too, that I really like to do this in real time with you guys. Because um, I guess it took maybe, what, 45 minutes? Something like that to do. That's not too bad, right? Foiling, cutting paper, making boo-boos, you know, not too bad. Okay, 
there's that. I took all the foam off, or the backs off of the foam. And now I'm going to place this right here. I want that Mother's Day and the Happy Straight right there. Oh, wow. We started with this. Nothing. We started with nothing. We started with nothing. I just say that all the time. I, that just thrills me to no end. When we start with nothing, I want to use some pearls. I like to use all of the things that I've already got here and just use them up. So I'm using these pearls, which are beautiful for this card, especially a Mother's Day card, right? And I'm using these very small ones. Let's put one... I want to put it here. Okay, there we go. And we want an odd number. So it's three, four, and one more on the bottom is five. There we go. All right. And you can use any kind of embellishment. You could use white sequins. You could use you could use gems if you wanted to. Anything. You could use anything you'd like. You could even put pink things on here. Sequins, whatever. Here is a Mother's Day card with this absolutely gorgeous um, wreath. This daisy wreath from Pink Fresh Studio. I absolutely love the way it foils. I love this card. I love this card. Isn't that so pretty? So the shop opens Wednesday. I'll take these in on Wednesday. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate everyone. All the links are below for you guys to place an order. Thanks again and have a great day. I'll see you next time.